Hello everybody, my name is Maddie, and welcome back to another drawing video. Today I am drawing a pirate girl based on a gesture drawing that I did in one of my classes for school. I really liked how the drawing turned out, even though it was only a two minute gesture, and I really wanted to take it, redraw it, and turn it into a finished piece. So that's what I did, and I like doing that sort of thing, and I kind of want to go through some of my older gesture drawings and do the same thing that I did here, turn them into actual finished characters. So yeah, I turned her into a pirate. It was a lot of fun to work on, and it's not like the greatest piece in the world. I can tell some mistakes with it, but it was really just a personal piece, and I, and it was nothing like an original character or anything like that. It was just a fun little practice piece that I did, and I really need to do more of that so I can get into the groove of like what my style is for digital work and what kind of coloring style and everything I want for that. So yeah, I really am going to start doing more pieces like this where it's just, you know, a complete piece, maybe no real meaning behind it or anything, just a lot of practice, trying to get dynamic posing, trying to practice line art, that sort of thing. And before you say anything, yes, I know that the way her hair is and how big her forehead is, it looks like she has a receding hairline. However, I do go back and fix that later. That's the beauty of digital art, is that you can go back and fix those sort of things once they come about. I have been spending a long time on line art as opposed to coloring, which is strange because I used to hate doing line art. At least when I did stuff traditionally, I hated doing line art. But now when I do it digitally, I really, really enjoy it, and it's probably my favorite thing to do. Coloring, however, still I still can't really figure out what kind of style I want to color in digitally. It's really weird, and I think I'm going to look up some tutorials, watch some speed paints on YouTube, see what kind of things other artists do, see what I like, what I don't like, and go from there for my coloring style, because I still am not sure about the exact style I want to go for for my digital pieces. I want to talk about some things I'm doing to change up the channel. You may have noticed that I changed my name on the channel from my full name to Mighty Maddie. And the reason for that is I have my Instagram under Mighty Maddie Art, and Mighty Maddie is kind of like my uh, name on lots of different social medias and stuff like that, and I just kind of wanted to have a brand. I wanted to have some sort of name that was catchy, an alliteration like Mighty Maddie that people would remember, and if you look at a piece of art, once I finally get my style going, you'll be like, oh, I know who drew that art, it was Mighty Maddie, you know? So I did change my stuff over to that, and I am working on revamping the channel. I want to make a new banner. I already have a new icon that I made, but I might make a different one, because that one I kind of didn't spend a whole lot of time on. I'm getting into the flats of the piece right now, and... Yeah, my color scheme for this is kind of all over the place. I still am really bad at choosing just one central piece. However, I do go back and after making some adjustments with photo filters and stuff like that, and also lighting, I do kind of bring it together as one full cohesive piece. The background for this is really weird, I know. I, I haven't started working on the deck yet. But once I do start working on it, I know it's not the best looking thing, but I wasn't completely focused on the background. I was more focused on the character. So I have been working a lot on my art style and drawing more. And there are a lot of drawings that I've been doing that I have not put on YouTube. If you would like to see those and keep up with me when I'm not posting to YouTube, you can check out my Instagram. I'll link to it in the description below. I just don't really have time to do full complete pieces, and if I do a speed paint, I want to do full complete pieces, you know? I also mentioned in the past that I don't want to do just speed paints on this channel, which I don't. However, those are the easiest for my myself to record at this current moment as I am in school full time and I'm about to start a new job this weekend. So until I can actually have time to sit down and make skits and stuff like I really want to that are art related, I'm going to be uploading speed paints. I also want to change my upload schedule 
even though I have not been sticking to it at all recently. I used to try to make myself commit to once a week, but that's just too much with my current uh, school schooling. So I and homework, I'm going to probably shoot for two videos a month, like every other week, if I can manage that. Doing the shading on her face, it, 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 it took me a while. I'm still kind of not used to having such an unlimited color palette. And since I have such an unlimited color palette, I find that I don't choose the correct colors. And I should have put more reds into her skin tone. I, I really should have. It just does not look too good. She kind of looks like a potato, but you know, <laughs> I'm working on it. I will change that. In the future, I'm going to try to put red first and then put a different color over top of it and like a more fleshy tone over top of it and see if that works out. Yeah, I don't have a whole lot to say about this piece except it was a lot of me just experimenting with coloring, finding some smoothing brushes I like. I already know what line art brush is my favorite line art brush. If you guys have Photoshop and you haven't updated it to the 2018 version, please do it because you can now get Kyle Webster brushes for free and there's pen smoothing. So if that sounds interesting to you and you haven't updated your Photoshop and you're like, I wish this had pen smoothing, you can update it and you will get pen smoothing. Believe it or not, they actually added it. So yeah, I fixed the hair and now I'm going in and shading that. Another thing with the Photoshop update, um, like I said, you can get the Kyle Webster brushes for free, free and they also have tons of other brush packs you can get for free, which is really nice and I have, a lot of this was me testing out different brushes seeing what I liked for coloring because the one I use for line art is Clean as a Whistle and if you're looking for a good line art brush, please try out Clean as a Whistle in the Kyle Webster Mega Pack <laughs> um, brush set. I have been working on some personal things that um, kind of have to relate to art. It's like a type of art, but it's not drawing, I guess I would say. You guys may not know this, but I am a digital media major and at my school, and that can have several different focuses. Most people like, you know, do animation or concept art, that sort of thing. And my focus is actually sound design which has nothing to do with drawing, but it's so much fun. I'm really, really passionate about it, and I enjoy it so much. And I do draw for my other classes, and I do enjoy drawing, but I really love sound design, and I really want to do that in my future. So right now, I'm actually working on some music, which is interesting. I'm not very much, I'm not much of a singer, but I do like writing comedy things, so I'm writing some comedic songs, and we'll see what comes of it. I don't really have a whole lot more to say about this piece. I'm kind of going in and shading the clothing, which I don't really like how I did. But like I said, I'm still trying to figure out what I want my coloring style to be. So I'll keep on practicing. I'm just going to let the music play out for the rest of this. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, subscribe, comment, let me know what kind of stuff you'd like to see me draw in the future. If you have some fan art suggestions, I wouldn't mind drawing some fan art. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bye.